It's the lighting of the Opera House Sales 2019, this year featuring the Austral Flora Ballet. The artwork and design are by Andrew Thomas Huang, who lives in Los Angeles. The ballet features dancing figures made of Australian plants. To make this film, a real dancer's movements were carefully mapped onto an outline of the Opera House Sales in a studio. Their bodies and costumes were then transposed into flowers and leaves. Like human dancers, some perform solo, some in a chorus. The plants will all be shown at the beginning as they actually exist. Waratah, Hakia and Grevillea, Eucalyptus, Bottle Brush, Redbeard, Orchid. They will then morph into moving dancers. The stamens play a big part in the dancing. These are the long, thin threads with yellow pollen blobs on the ends, the male parts of the flowers. The performance starts. The sails are black. Blue patches appear on different parts of all the sails. The different flowers appear fleetingly on each sail and then disappear. In order of sails from left to right, we can see waratah, kangaroo paw, waratah again and bottle brush. The lights flicker over them, greenish white, then red, with the same shapes on each sail. The floral shapes on the sail gradually get lighter in colour, then the sails turn red behind the shapes. Colours pulsate and flicker, and the sails change from pink to purple and blue. We have now moved underwater. We can see large leaves with blue and pink edges, and waratah flowers morphing into jellyfish. The waratah-shaped heads have long white knotted threads coming from the edges and the centre. Some have blue heads, some have red heads. They sway and dance with the threads flowing freely behind them. The arm-like threads have brushy split ends. They reach up and wave. Then they brush over each other. They pulsate, just like jellyfish. They mimic the shapes and movements of the jellyfish dancers, bowing to each other and wrapping their tentacles around themselves and each other. A large red umbrella-shaped waratah head appears in the middle sail. It is not smooth, but bumpy, just like a waratah flower. The sails are now covered in giant purple pulsating jellyfish. The thread-like tentacles almost cover each jellyfish head. The background gradually becomes purple and pink as the main dancer spins and pirouettes, doing a solo. The sails change their background colour back to purple and have large leaf blades showing. One jellyfish with luminous white threads is left dancing on the middle sail. It floats up and down with the threads slowly following. The scene now changes. The sun comes up on a field of flowers, spiky headed kangaroo paws and silhouettes of grasses. The kangaroo paws are blue and are waving in the wind. They bow down to the bottom left and then to the right. The whole opera house is blue and purple. The flowers are crowded together like a giant bouquet. The bouquet has the blue kangaroo paws on long stems like wide open arms reaching out on each side. The long kangaroo paws now stretch up the sails, just like strings on a harp. More giant kangaroo paws now appear, moving in the wind. Some are green with red spiky tips, others blue turning to red. The tips of the flowers look like fingers. They move like a chorus line of dancers, waving their arms sinuously up and down. The sails are now covered with a mass of enormous red kangaroo paws. The blue flowers are like fists with the fingers closed. The red flowers have the fingers spread apart. 
The stems are like arms. They weave across the sails by one by one, starting from the front and going from left to right. We are now back in the field of flowers. Long, thin, pale cream stamen threads. They move up over the sails. They look like a woven cane basket, or even like a chain mesh. They move constantly, weaving in and out. The sails turn pink and white, and one figure now appears on each sail. It's like a single scarecrow in a field. The background is pale brown and pale yellow. Gumnut shapes make the heads of the next dancers. They are long, thin figures with leaf-like hats or headdresses. The yellow stamen threads are like a long train on a dress. It weaves around the body as it turns. It's a slow, sensuous dance. The flowers bend backwards and forwards in a very flexible way until they gradually become still on each sail. While the middle flower stays still, the other figures keep dancing. Movement has stopped. There is now a close-up of the head a large gum nut with red stamens looping out around it and the leafy headdress covering the sails. Each sail has a dancer and they slowly move down and off the sails. There is only one left and it slowly disappears. Yellow dots now cover the sails like an open weave mesh. They move up the sails from the bottom. The dots turn yellow and green. Darker oval sections, like thumbprints, appear in the middle of the dots. These are made of different colours. They have red edges and yellow and green dots inside. Movement continues in all directions on the sail until it changes and we have now a bottle brush dancing. They're long, Red stamens are swaying out in all directions. They make large arcs to each side. It's like an Aboriginal dance, low to the ground, knees bent, swooping and turning. The background is a deep cherry red. The sails are full of long yellow stamens with yellow pollen on the tips. The central part of each flower is like a thin, dark cylinder. Grevillea, or spider flowers, are in the background. Yellow threads on a pink background cover the sails. Bottle brush flowers are now in silhouette. They spin very darkly, holding their arms out to each side. Only the red grevillea or spider flowers can be seen on the sides. The yellow stamen threads now move up, cover the sails, once again like a mesh. They turn red and then the whole mesh slides down and leaves the black sails behind. A single flower with sweeping stamens dances in front of a purple mesh. The sails are pink at the bottom and dark blue at the top. The individual dancers swoop up and down as if they're acrobats on a trapeze 
or swinging on a giant slow piece of elastic. The sails are a mass of twirling and looping red threads with a few blue petals mixed in. A dancer flies up and spins in the air. It fades away into the distance and then moves forward to give us a very close-up view of green leaves, red stamens and the cone-like centre. They then disappear off to the left and the sail turns pink and blue once more. The dancers are now back underwater. We have the Waratah-like jellyfish again. Red heads, pink and white threads hanging from them. The sails are completely covered with white threads hanging from the edges of the Waratahs. The scene now becomes very fast moving. Brown vines with small green leaves on them snake their way across the sails. It's a rushing jungle of roots, stems and ferns. Snake-like vines slink in all directions, looping over each other at a very fast speed. Hundreds of individual tiny red flowers now move in lines up and down. At times it's like a blur of red and blue plant parts. The whole sail is a mass of colour. It's almost impossible to make out the individual parts. Gumnut flowers reappear, but now they are luminous pink and purple on a bluish background. Then one dancer breaks out and comes to the front, spinning like a gymnast, with stamens like moving ribbons curling around the body. We are now left with one dancing flower in front of a background of purple threads. Everything, including that one flower, turns luminous, a shining pink and purple. The red stamens really stand out. The flower sinks to the bottom of the sails and slowly disappears. The end is a repeat of the beginning. Individual flowers on different sails in flickering greenish white. There are kangaroo ports, waratahs and grevillea. The sails are now mainly blue. The lights go from left to right across all of the sails. The flowers can still be seen on these blue colours. Now a red colour comes in and the flowers turn to pink. After this pink, they gradually turn back again to greenish white. The flowers are now very visible, all green white. The sails fade to black. We have now reached the end of the Austral Flora Ballet.